You know what? If we stop taking these kind of jobs, these crappy companies, even the mega carriers, they'll go out of business. Yo, what's going on YouTube family? Thank you for tuning in today. I'm Walter, you're locked in to B2 Speaks. Today on the calendar, we have to talk about none other than Schneider National. Schneider National, AKA my former employer, probably about eight years ago, I think. I have first hand knowledge about how crappy Schneider is and some of the crazy policies that they have there. If you don't understand why the industry is where it is today, if you don't understand why the pay is so low and a good chunk of the industry. And let me just say this. I'm not talking about you guys. I always get these guys in these comments and stuff when I talk about truck driver pay. And I always get the guys that drive for XPO, FedEx, SIA, SDs, RNL, um, UPS, these LTL carriers who jump in and start talking about, oh, I make $27 an hour, I make $30 an hour, I make $32 an hour. You know, those jobs, guys, and I've worked for a LTL company. I've been there, I've done it. I've been driving almost 10 years. And let me tell you this, it's no better than driving over the road with one of these over the road companies. You still have to put up with the same craziness that over the road drivers have to put up with at these companies. So, but those jobs are few in between. It's not many of those LTL jobs out there until the world ends. It's always going to be more over the road drivers than there are local drivers. That's why I spend the bulk majority of my time, even as a local driver myself, I drive a sleeper truck, but I'm a local driver, semi-local. I spend most of my time fighting for over the road drivers because those are the guys who are the backbone of the industry. Those are the guys who, if they all quit, we're all screwed, no matter if we're local or not. Uh, so that's why I push for better treatment of these guys who are over the road because they oftentimes get looked over and they are the backbone of the industry. But of course, these companies, they don't care. Companies like Snyder. Now I'm going to put on the screen here. Snyder's pay for over the road drivers. Basically, they call it regional. But the way that this job is laid out. It's a home every other week, which means you're out two weeks. That's over the road. I mean, you're you may stay within a the southeast or within a, a small radius, but you're out. You're sleeping in that truck two weeks at a time before you come home. Let's look at just what companies like Snyder is paying guys to get them to go run over the road here in 2024. This is what these guys are offering truck drivers, and it's sickening. As you can see, this is a regional truckload driver position here in the Atlanta area. And as you can see, the home time says every other week. So every other week, that's going you're gonna get home uh, every two weeks, basically. And look at the pay. Look at the pay, guys. Look at the pay. Thousand dollars a week, but between $1,000 and $1,200 a week. Now, this is what these companies do when they put average pay in all of this stuff. They're not kidding you. What they are saying is the guys that they have in this particular role, this is what they're making. Now, they would say, oh, you know, average is just average. Guys are making way more than that. Guys are making less far uh, less than that, but that's just an average of the group of drivers that we have within this particular driving role. And they will say, well, if guys, you know, guys who go and they, they work harder, they stay out longer than every other week. They stay out longer. Well, wait, 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 hold on. If I'm taking a job because I want to get home every other week, then why would I take a job that requires me to stay out longer in order to make money. I took a job because I wanted to be home every other week. So why would I take a job and say, you know what? 
I want to stay out four weeks now. I want to stay out six weeks now. Why would I do that? That's crazy. So no drivers, probably very few drivers do that. But just take a look at that. A thousand dollars a week, guys, to be gone two weeks at a time. To basically be gone two weeks and a thousand dollars a week to drive a truck. To drive a truck now, you know, that's crazy. And that's the problem. This is the problem with the industry, man. This is what has diminished the value of drivers. This is why uh, we can't make advances within the industry when it comes to better pay, better benefits for drivers and all of that. It's because of stuff like this. And again, as I spoke about in my previous video, these companies do it because these guys are getting applications on top of applications on top of applications from drivers to go and fill these roles. That's why they're able to keep paying you. They have, they can keep paying you. Why would they pay you? Why wouldn't they say, okay, we're going to give this guy who we hire for this basically over the road. They say regional, but that's over the road being home every two weeks, basically that's over the road. And, you know, why would they say, you know, this guy out here over the road, busting it, gone two weeks at a time. Look, let's pay this guy $2,200 a week minimum. Let's pay him. Let's pay the guy that minimum two grand a week. Let's say two grand a week minimum. Let's pay him that. And, uh, and of course, if he does anything extra uh, while he's out there on his on his runs and everything, you know, all of that will be included as additional pay. And he can make more than that if he works. Why would they do that when they can sit here and offer you a thousand dollars and say, hey, you will make about a thousand and twelve hundred dollars a week to be gone everywhere for two weeks at a time. And when they can offer you a thousand dollars to do that and guys are lined up down the street with applications to take that job, they don't they're not going to change. They're going to keep paying you the thousand dollars. That's what they're going to do, you know? So that's what I'm saying. We got to stop taking this stuff. If there are no butts in the seat of these trucking companies that suck and pay drivers like this, a thousand dollars a week, man, man, that's 2008 money. That's like, well, not two, I would say 2010, 2000, the early 2000s, maybe, you know, that's ridiculous that, companies are offering that the professional truck drivers and so i don't get mad though i don't get mad about that because it's the drivers who go line up to fill out applications and take these positions if we stop doing that these companies will have to up the pay they will have to up the pay if they want to get drivers or they'll simply go out of business because they won't have the drivers and that's what i'm vouching for don't go there. If they're not going to change, don't go there and drive for them. Don't drive for them. Let them go out of business. A thousand dollars a week. I was looking up. I was going through Indeed and I came across that a thousand dollars a week. You know what I'm saying? That's ridiculous to drive. I want Walmart employees are making that amount of money. If you go and bust it, you can work at a warehouse down the street at your house. If it's one in your area. You can go work in a warehouse and drive a forklift, you know, moving pallets around a building for a thousand dollars a week. And you ain't got to worry about all these stupid regulations. You don't have to worry about the dangers of possibly getting into an accident out here and God forbid killing somebody. And if you're at fault, you end up in prison the rest of your life. You know, you ain't got to worry about all that. You can go make the same amount of money working at Walmart or Target or BJ's or Costco's, wherever. That's the problem with the industry. Uh, these companies don't care. They're willing to pay you peanuts and they're still able to get drivers. And I don't understand it. You know, even where I am now, I don't make great money, but I make okay money. You know, I do okay. It's enough for me right now. Stop getting in the seat of these companies. Stop applying, let them go out of business. If they don't want to keep up with the times, you know, if they don't want to pay you like the licensed professional that you really are, 
especially if you are an experienced driver, you know, and somebody is offering to pay you a thousand dollars a week and don't go drive for that kind of company. Let them increase their pay or not be able to recruit drivers and go out of business. It's that simple. These companies, it's the mega carriers. There's a lot of the carriers out there these days that's doing it. But Snyder, I know that this is true at Snyder because it's here. And also I work there and I can tell you that was the worst period of time. They are the worst company to drive for. I want to say worse, but they are one of the worst companies that I've driven for. Uh, they have a stupid cell phone policy. They have a stupid uh, headset policy. You can't even talk on the Bluetooth headset hands free there. They just are a stupid company, man. And I can say that uh, with my whole heart because I drove there and they are about the worst that you will ever find. What do you think about it? You know, but what can you do besides not drive there? Yeah, guys, I'll catch y'all on the next one. And remember, don't be offended. That's just I'll be two speaks.